All right, it's Friday morning and we're Americans. So we're going to shoot a bunch of guns. Aaron's stacked there with all the guns in the back seat there. <laughs> cases and cases of guns in a raid. Come take them. <laughs> I dare ya. <laughs> what guns? We don't have any guns. This is my buddy Kevin. He's he's my Mexican friend from high school. Oh gosh. <laughs> He never quite made it past 5'9", but he was a heck of a linebacker. I got there, though. <laughs> you got there. He works at Shercan now, but we're going to shoot some stuff today. Does anyone want to donate a target for us? Because we could use something. Well, what are you wanting to shoot? 6.5 PRC and 300 PRC. Aaron's got a 6 Creed more. We went, to... we went shooting to show that we celebrate our Americanism, and we didn't even bring a target. I am going to... So I'm gonna rig this, rig up a target with these plates with some barbed wire and a stand. That'll work. Figured if I was coming, bringing the shooting, you'd bring a target, but. I don't know. Well, let's go shoot. <laughs> One fifteen. So, just about right. Okay, so Eric's gonna check his three hundred PRC. Kevin's gonna shoot his three hundred too, and uh, we're gonna we got the tactic cam on it. See where they're hitting. And Eric's PRC was off the other day, so we're gonna check it and make adjustments as needed. All right. So, taking the dust off the old. Tac 2, 300 PRC by proof. And I'm gonna sight it in for I'm gonna sight it in for ELDX bullets. So figured I'd bring it out here and see how she's shooting. Take these match bullets out. And Insert some precision hunter. This is what I would be hunting with. Ooh, brand new crispy box. That's what I'm talking about right there. All right, we're gonna send one. Let me get a little tighter on the target. Ready? I don't know. Peyton won't flinch, he promises. Aaron, ready? Yep. You recording, Kevin? Yep. Kevin? Um, it's not telling me if I'm recording or not. It'll tell you. Turn off training mode. One hour later. We're all ready now. Ready? Listo. All right, well, let me make sure my ears are in. Two hours later. Send it. Send it. Like high and left. High left? I think. I don't know. It's hard to tell. Kevin? I couldn't see where it. I just saw smoke. How do you watch your video? I mean, one thing that might help you is if your turret was at zero, but. Oh, gosh. <laughs> That's just a warm up. <laughs> I've done that before hunting. All right, here we go, boys. Now, hopefully you guys can watch the bullet. Spotter ready? Ready. Other spotter ready? Nope, just go. All right, so, we got a confirmed hit there. So we're actually at 105, it's a it's a little low. I'm gonna actually shoot my, try to hit where I just hit and see if I can put it in the same spot. Then I'll make an adjustment based on where I hit here. Two 
think she's low. Alright. I'm gonna I'm gonna move it up. I'm a little low. I'm gonna grab my Allens and move it up. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is it looks like I'm a little bit low. I was shooting match ammo before and I was low and I just shot the Precision Hunter factory ammo and I'm low. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna dial this turret up and if I get close, then I'm gonna um, set it. So pretty sure I'm gonna go up in my scope. 3.6 inches at 100 yards. So I need to go up in my, point 0.1. Yeah, so I need to go up point 0.2. That should get me close. Hit. It's almost uh, touching your first one. So yeah, I'd say shoot one more where you're at and then we can adjust. Okay, ready. Touching. I mean, same general. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna loosen the cap, turret cap. And I'm gonna bring this to zero and that'll be my new zero. Here we go. There's a tip that allows you to grab it to pull out and it broke. But yeah, it just sits on there and it does basically. The bottom? Yeah, the bottom of those three. The bottom middle? That's what it looks like. That's what it looks like. There are two holes. I hit this. I, Maybe I'm wrong. I shot for that left. Okay, watch again. Okay, Kevin, I'm going left again. Top left. Okay. Yeah, that's two in a row that have been. Okay, I'm going. I'm going to do that far right, okay? Far right, okay. Little to the right, right? Little to the right and a half inch low. I, I think I jerked a little bit, but I'm gonna set that zero right there. You wanna go, want me to go paint those holes? Yeah, I think so. Kevin's gonna paint some holes and then shoot one more time and make one more adjustment, I think. Exact same spot. Exact, it's not an, not an eighth of an inch in between them. Oh really, that's a good shot. Put it in between there, Aaron will buy you lunch. Really? That's what he said. Aaron? What? If I put it in between those two, you'll buy me lunch? No. <laughs> he knows how much I can eat. Guy never stops eating, Kevin. When we were on the moose hunt and you have my pack and Peyton thinks there's a bear coming, but really it was just you going. <laughs> Yeah, right, dude. Throwing down all about? my food in my eating, pack. Eating all the freeze-dried peaches. <laughs> <laughs> Low and to the right. Yeah. Hold on. So I'm going to shoot like just a hair below the rod that runs through the two holes. I got a good balance right there. Rather than trying to hold the gun down. That don't tell me where I'm going. Shoot the rope, then we're, we're done. Okay, I won't shoot the rope. Shoot the wood and split it in half. I'm going to go like... Well, he's shooting right, on the, right below the cord. Or the... <laughs> whatever it's called. The, okay, you ready? He's holding it. He's going to split it. Ready? I told you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> he hit the cord, right? The... I shot the target. Why'd you do that? Oh, I moved it up, that's why. Oh. Dang it. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take the six Creedmoor out and shoot that bunny in the face. What's that? Aaron has a handicap because he's left-handed, so. I'm not a handicap, I shoot correctly. <laughs> left, left, left shooters have a more creative brain. That's what I was always told as a kid. Do they? Don't we say left-handed people are like more creative or something? They use a different part of their brain. Maybe. All right, so I'm gonna shoot the six creed more. Um, six creed more is very similar to 243. Very, very similar. Um, better. better options for factory ammo. They sh shoot a little better at long range. Better ballistics. They don't drop off as far. 103 grain ELDX. And you said left? Yeah, so how much is one? Maybe. That's the toughest pumpkin I've ever seen. So we got a bulletproof pumpkin here. We got a bulletproof pumpkin. That's why you come shoot your guns. I haven't shot this six creed more for four months. How would this be? I'll do pumpkin. This should put me right about there. You ready? Yeah. Okay, here we go. There you go. Those are both in its face, right? Yeah. Literally touching the net. The six Creed Moore is zeroed and ready to go. That's why you check. Gonna take her coyote hunting and try to talk my wife into going on a coos hunt. <laughs> but anyway, she's ready to go now. She got a good workout today. It's time to pull out my 6.5 PRC, my oh, Proof really? Glacier TI. And uh, now that Aaron shot four boxes, did you get the four boxes through him? Or? Shut up. How many did you shoot a box? One box barely. Jeez. Not even a box. I Burn that think. barrel out next week if you keep shooting. <laughs> it's probably good I shot so much because I hadn't even put a boxer. I probably got lucky. That's what I think. I think it's the best way to kill them with luck. Do you think you do you think you got lucky probably? There's no way. No, because I went and sighted it in at a hundred yards and put eight shots through. There's no way you're not gonna be that far off at elevation. I don't think you're sighted in, to be honest. I think Eric messed with your scope. I think Eric's just a giant idiot. <laughs> Next time, sight in. Did you finally hit the pumpkin then, Paul? Oh, thanks. Yeah, I saw yeah that was great of you. I didn't do that. Holy gee whiz, yeah, I you did. did. Not. You I just didn't even get it this was sitting on top of your rifle. Well, it really well, so. <laughs> Gosh. That wasn't me. I'm yeah, sorry it if wasn't that was. You, you just moved everything around, but it wasn't you. 
That really wasn't. Yeah, it was, you dummy. Sorry, I really, I didn't even see it if I did do it. So you got the Glacier TI here, uh, chambered in 65 PRC. I need to get a better rail for it, but um, we're gonna see how she's shooting. I had it sighted in with it suppressed, but I wanted to zero it without it being suppressed, so that's what we're gonna do right now. You ready, Shaniqua? Yeah, ready when you are. Ready, Shaniqua. I shot it right off. I think he hit it, but no, I heard it, flipped it, it, up it happened so fast. I, I flipped it up over the bar. I know, I can see. All right, I'll see I think you might have just hit dirt underneath and it hit the thing and then... You hit a rock up out of it. <laughs> Dang, boys, at least someone can shoot. He's such an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna shoot her again, boys. Shot right, shot the left side. I mean, if it was dead center. I'll shoot dead center. Okay. Ready? Gee whiz, boys. Okay, you see the bunny rabbit? No, shoot the duck. I'm not shooting the bunny rabbit. Do you see the bunny rabbit? No, shoot the rubber ducky. You see the bunny rabbit? You nope. see you I only see, the, see the rubber ducky. See the railroad tie where the thing's hanging? The target? Yeah. I'm gonna shoot that. Miss. I freaking pounded that dead center. No, you didn't. Yes I did. You're low left. It's shaking. No, I wasn't. That was that hole was already there. You hit the very top of it. You just clipped the top of it. The hole was already there. You hit the top. Okay, I'm gonna shoot for the hole that's already there at the bottom one. You hit the same hole. Up high? Yeah. You got an inch high in the high. hole you were aiming for. You guys should move it. Uh. Peyton, we're gonna send an ELDX downrange. Some precision hunter. Yep, dead, tape. dead on. Dead nuts. Yeah. It's a good gun. It's not me, it's the gun. That is a good gun. Yeah. Those are pretty good shots, those last two. Oh yeah. All right. That was for freedom. All right, show us, tell us about this thing. Why is this the best gas can on the planet? All right, where you at? Come around. So, a few different things on this can that really make it stand out. Namely, it's, you don't need two hands to take that cap off. But mostly, one of the biggest things is, is this spout right here. And you, a lot of times, you, you know, you're sticking your can in, the, in your machine, stick it in there, and you're leaking, and the gas yeah, is already coming. That's annoying, yeah. Um, this does have gas in it, so I'm not going to do it right here. But so you can you can stick that in your your four wheeler, your lawnmower, your UTV. Let's go stick it in the owner right now. Then you have this trigger right here. It's you have a safety valve there, safety there. Then you push it down, and the, it releases the fuel. So you have complete control of your fuel. Let me let's put it in the yoda right here. Over there, say. So. <laughs> Get it in there. Eric just likes this because he's getting free gas. <laughs> and it's just going right in. If you let off that trigger, it lets that off. There's a valve right here, right before that spout, that cuts it off. So you do have some 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 people are wondering, well, it still leaks after. Well, there's there's still gas in this spout after you cut that off. So I mean, but just hit that. You're getting it in there. Oh, it's yeah. Limit your spills, gives you complete control. You're not having to fight your fight your can. You don't have to bear hug it. You can, you know, it's those old cans you had to bear hug it. I'd be up here bear hugging it, trying to get it in there. Yeah. And just stick it in there and fill it up. Yeah, let it go a couple more minutes. <laughs> 
It's only got <laughs> it's got a whopping two gallons in there, so. This is good. Oh, that's cool. When you're done, just finish it up. Tip it to the side a little bit. Yeah, you're, I mean your old yeah. pan should be sitting here yeah, fighting yeah, it like that. They're horrible. Okay. Yeah. But that's a two gallon, huh? Yep. It's a, this is just holds just over two gallons. We used to call it our 2.2. .2. It's just we changed that to our two plus, so it just holds just barely over two gallons in that. So. And this isn't a shameless ad. Kevin and I went to high school together and junior high, so I told him we should throw this on there so people can see it. It's kind of cool. Yeah, pretty cool. All right, well, it was fun to come out here and shoot a little bit in the name of freedom. And uh, we got a couple, couple guns zeroed, so they'll be ready to go for coyotes and coos deer and whatever else. Whatever else we yeah. decide to do last second, like always. Time to get back to the office, get some work done. Got the guns zeroed for the most part. Hit the office.